Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to make the ultimate fruit fly trap. A lot of people use the apple cider vinegar trick, but there's one ingredient missing. So let's just start real quick. Basic apple cider trap, and you can see the number of fruit flies in there. Both of these have been out the same amount of time. Let's get closer. So it's just saran wrap over a little container and you put in some apple cider vinegar. The apple cider has the scent and sweetness of apples, but people don't bait it. That's a little piece of cantaloupe. And look at the difference. Just by putting in a little piece of fruit, you're gonna attract many more fruit flies. I'll show you how to make this in a second. Once the fruit flies are on there, you can see them on the cantaloupe. You can just swirl the vinegar around, try and get the fruit back in the center, and you've got the perfect trap. I mean, look at all the fruit flies. Anytime you bring in your vegetables from the outdoors, there's a chance of insects being on there, especially with cantaloupe or anything that starts to split or the sugars are accessible by the fruit flies, they're gonna come in, tomatoes for sure. To make the trap, simple container, you don't want to put in tons of vinegar, just enough for it to cover the bottom, and it'll look something like that. Apple cider, of course, is acidic, and it does have some sweetness scent to it, some smell to it, but it's not really strong enough to attract the fruit flies because of the acidity. The acidity is going to kill them. Put in a piece of cantaloupe, a piece of tomato. Any piece of fruit that's going to put out a scent, that's what the fruit flies are attracted to, and you're gonna catch, really, you know, what was that, three times, four times, five times more? You're gonna put saran wrap over it. You wanna make it nice and tight. That's the basis for the trap. The addition of the piece of fruit makes all the difference. Don't poke holes on the outside. They tend to crawl to the sides. And if the holes are over here, they're gonna get out. Just poke, you know, three to five right above the cantaloupe in this case. Set it out wherever you let your fruit stay. And you can see what it's gonna do. They're gonna stay trapped in there. They're not gonna to know to fly straight up to the hole. They'll eventually die off. You can give it the swirl, start killing them off again. So many fruit flies in there compared to what it looks like without the fruit. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please check out the video description for links to my garden blog and my garden podcast. Thanks so much for watching.